I will now show you how to get started in Track You Back. When you have created an account, you can continue with building a new family tree from scratch or to upload a GEDCOM file with your existing genealogy research. If you want to upload a GEDCOM file, just click the button and choose the file to upload. It may take some time, depending on the amount of data. When it is uploaded, you search for the default start person that you want your first ancestor chart to be built from. When you have found the individual you want, just click on her, which immediately gets track you back building your tree. It is not a crucial decision. You can easily change start person whenever you want inside the platform and see different trees. Building the tree may take some time, depending on how many individuals that the tree contains. When the building of the tree is finished, you will see it inside the platform with all the ancestors to the start person you've chosen open at once. It is still in a basic version. We recommend that the next step you take is to geotag your places to get as much as possible from the maps. But already you can view and edit your info and see the perspectives of your history in the timeline. Let's start over. If you instead want to start a new tree, just click on the button for new tree and you will get straight into the platform. There you will be met by a single anonymous person who you can start edit. Just click on her and click the editing button. The basic info like name and sex is obvious. You may of course start early with adding the graphic symbols for occupation, movement, habitat and much more. You also have tabs for adding personal events or images. Then you can start building your tree by adding relations. There are other guide videos that shows these tools in detail. 